good this uh, graph, which is great, because uh, you can see what you're doing. Good job that wasn't for rookles. Man, he's pretty good with birds now. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, not bad, eh? Not bad. Good boy. He won't be able to go up very far apart Attack Hill because uh, he's had a good workout already. So he'll be a bit tired. And it's strenuous going up here. It's a long pull, steep. Ah, canter! This is his own speed. I'm not asking him to do this speed. I think he's slowing. Oh no, it's keeping going. <laughs> yeah, I think I think you're tired now, are you? Are you tired? Yes. <laughs> that was him deciding, yes, I'm tired. <laughs> Good boy. Good lad. Nice rest now. Keep on the grass because you've no shoes on the back. No jogging now, is there? No. That'll be you tired then. <laughs> Bless him. Nice uh, shower when he gets back. And then into the paddock. Yeah, that's quite a lot of pheasants running about on that road, isn't it? He knew to turn in the air, I didn't turn him. Farouk, he'd have just gone sailing on where with the fairies he would be, even though we go down here all the time. No walk. Good boy. That's Apollo again. It is, honestly. So we'll have a little collected canter. Right lead. Just on this little bit here. Watch 
we get round the corner. So, from a right lead canter, it's slight, well, no, listen, slight shoulder four, just slight, and then back with the right leg, left leg, and yes, look at that, good boy. I hope you got that, that was back with the left leg, not the right leg. Boy, slow, slow, good, good. That clicking sound is my safety stirrup. For some reason, it's decided to um, move out and back, out and back. Yes, much better, but then it was a collected canter, so it's cost much easier for him to stop, because he's already got his hind legs under. Good boy. Back into long neck, head down. Just to relax all those muscles along, along his top line and now down his neck. Where the reins are touching him, it's making him lather up. Still have a nice shower when you get back. It's not very far now. He's losing his coat big time too. Going to get his winter coat now. Even though it's nice sunny day. <laughs> but he is, he's losing you, much more than Farouk. Farouk's hardly losing any coat, but he's building coat. Whereas he's losing coat and then he'll build coat. If that makes sense. Walk. Good boy. He's got the Apollo walk on, but that's all right. He's not jogging, and he will be cooling down at this pace, even though he's doing the Apollo walk. Now, why are we over this side of the road? That's him. That's him just walked over. Are you going to walk back again now? <laughs> he seems to be. Good dear. I normally trot up this hill, but I won't because he's done quite a nice amount of work now. So he just needs to cool off. Uphill trotting is so good for them. When I was teaching Apollo the collected canter, we did a lot of uphill trotting to get him um, ready for cantering collectively, because it builds up the correct muscles. Also the back up, very good for getting the legs underneath them again ready for the collected canter. I find that works really, really well. And because he's used to a lot of uh, voice commands, I don't, when I was teaching him the collector candor, I didn't have to hang on to him for grim death. You know, he was just, uh, he understood slow, he, underst he understands the word slower. And so I could say to him when he was cantering slower, and he, he did canter slower. He did, and that's all, you know, that's, uh, part of um, the collective cancer is actually doing it on the spot. So um, I found that for him really useful, him knowing the slower, you know, the, the word slower.
No. No, we're walking. Look a monkey. Sorry, the video was quite um, joggly, a bit like being on the sea. But it's um, Apollo, it was just in that um, Apollo walk mode, so it just made it more joggly. I clipped his um, fetlocks again yesterday and his chin, just getting a bit hairy. I didn't take a video of it because you've seen it all before recently so didn't didn't do that. You like the, the pampering, don't you? Yes, you do, yes. Don't stand on the horse pipe. Like that. I, I think it's um, something to do with being herd leader as well, you know, it should be pampered. Got the corner off it. And he likes to have a good pampering after a ride, don't you? Yeah, he his head down. <laughs> little face hair's gone underneath, little chin hairs, isn't it? Like to look dashing, don't you? Well, apart from your ears, mate, you're done. So I'm going to do your ears. <laughs> no, no, don't want my ears doing. Get your sponge. Don't want me ears doing. No. Good boy. Yes, I know. Don't put your head up there. I'm not going to reach you. He's a little monkey, aren't you? Hey. Bit of a bit of a sweaty face as well, aren't you? so big when you put your head up like that, Apollo. Don't think that's going to stop me doing it, neither. If I have to get the stool, I will. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> Good boy. I'll just give him a scrape off and then he can have a couple of things about shine, can't you? A couple of little cups of out shine and then you can go in the paddock and then you can go back and join your mates in the field. Or you can stay overnight, whichever you like. I hope you've enjoyed the ride. If you have, don't forget a thumbs up, please, and a comment. TTFN.